Hey, g'day, Jordan Arthur from QPL Rural. I'm here today at uh, Shalami Charolais, and obviously we've got the, the bull sale on the 20th of April, but uh, we're standing in front of the donors here at Shalami, and Nigel's just gonna say a bit about the donors that he's got here. Thanks, Jordan. We've got 20 bulls in this sale. Um, a lot of these bulls do go back to our donor dams. Um, there's some bulls in the sale which have started from the showgirl cow family. So the sergeant bull is out of our donor K12. She's a red smoke showgirl and goes back to our old performer cow. We've got the chiffon cow family. Um, the old chiffon herself um, is Montana silver daughter. She's got a Panama son in the sale. His home is Igus Pold. And we've got the M9 cow, who's a highness. This M9 is the dam of our Shalambi Rover bull, who's our highest priced bull so far. We have a full brother in the sale to the Rover bull. He's a red factor bull. And he's going to be a slightly older bull in the sale. And our new donors coming along is the Q28 female. She's actually a daughter of the J6 cow, the Montana Silver. She hasn't got any progeny in their sale, but she's a cow to watch in the future. And then we have our new donor, Estella 336. She is a Sentinel Ruler daughter. She's an older cow and she's a new cow for us. She's the top price cow out of Palgrave in 2017. She has been flushed with some Jehu sons and will be coming along in future sales. Yeah, fantastic. So like Nigel, the, the cow families like the Estellas, um, the <coughs> Chiffons and the Highness, they're renowned cow families around the world and they're renowned cow families here in Australia. But Nigel, to the commercial producer, what is the importance behind having a, a strong cow herd um, in your bull breeding operation? Look Jordan, these cows have gone on they're older cows now, so they're structurally sound, which is very important for the commercial producers. Those bulls have got to be able to travel and stand the test of time. Also carry the desired traits that we're looking for, um, which include, we chase carcass traits and short gestation as well as low birth weight. So having those traits in those cows makes those bulls suitable for either a stud job or a commercial job. And they have a lot, like there's a lot of hard country, around, there's a lot of hill country and stuff as well that they have to it's, travel. It, yeah, it's important that they're, you know, good feet and legs, everything like that as well. Yeah, and they've, so they've got to be able to survive, they've got to be able to thrive in the conditions here, which are vary from very good to very poor at different times. And those cows have got to be able to travel around, they've got to be able to eat, and they've, they've got to be able to stand up for a long time so that those bulls can come through and do a similar job for the um, purchases of our, of our products. So Nigel, you, not only you've got the Estella cow families, you've got the Chiffons, um, but you've also got other cow families that have really stood the test of time in the in the Charolais stud industry as well. Yeah, we've got some other lines of females that have got on and done a great job for us too, including the um, Spice line, the Glenlea Elsa line, and the Janets. Those cows have been here since we started and they've done a good job. They've bred a lot of bulls for um, commercial producers and they've produced some stud size as well and those cows have just they're just good cows and they breed very well and they have a calf every year um, which is cattle here if they don't have a calf every year they're not here anymore um, so those cows have they've stood up and they've they've increased in numbers which means they're good cows and they've done a good job and ultimately as a seed stock producer that's that's what you need, isn't it? A cow that... Well, whether you're a seed stock producer or a commercial producer, we need to um, get a cow that rears a good calf and get back in calf every year. That's, that's our profit drivers in this game.